the give. Touchdown. Ezra Talaferro. Touchdown run to not this game at 7. 10 4 to go in the first half. In the backfield. Looks to throw. Fade. Right side. Schuler. From what Ezra Talaferro showed in camp, he's listed as one of those guys. End zone. Kato. Touchdown. Gator Hoskins. Kato to Gator Hoskins. In the tight end. Pulls it down. Harold Gator Hoskins from Cato. Cato keeps. Gets out of the pressure. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Wilkins. You give him time, he'll eat you up. Wilkins. Well, look where Rakeem Cato puts this ball when he gets out there. It's not like a normal throw back. Look at the height. I mean... Kato with time, now pressure comes, he lets go, end zone, touchdown! Uh, Gator! Slow start, but it doesn't take them long to get started once they go. No, it really, really doesn't, and they're doing it with pretty consistent pressure. You know, Jay Peterson's defense has gotten in Rakeem Cato's face. They have hit him. And this is another good example. I mean, he goes to scramble, and he's got to scramble. Because he's got somebody right up in his kitchen. Does it bother him? Eh, not particularly. You might want to have somebody within five yards of Gator Hoskins. That was a problem. That would help the rush. Albright got the pressure. He was where he's supposed to be, but no one was on the tight end slash slot guy. Really good depth of guys that can run and be physical. Miami jumps, free play for Cato. He's going long, got Schuler. No, he's got Smith in the end zone. Touchdown. He's over 500 yards offense. Mm. You just kind of, you're left. Picked. Inside the 10 to the goal line. It's Groom to the left. And he's in. That was close. Some hitting going on on this field. See this here, you see this hit. Still holding that ball out, I don't like that. Jumps up, we can't see the angle if the ball crosses the plane there. First and goal from the three, here's Palafaro with an alley and he is in the end zone. Guarding those receivers, but there's just so many weapons, so many options for Cato to Cato, all day in the pocket, tells his man to go deep. Gator Hoskins is wide open. Touchdown, Marshall. Cato, with all day, says, Gator, you're open, you're open. Go to the end zone. Doesn't get much easier than that. Pitch and catch in the end zone for the herd. You have a player that's versatile. I'm leaving it in the quarterback's hands to see if he can make a play. His legs are his arm. Here he is, Cato. He has room, and he will get in. Cato on the run. End zone touchdown. Special teams touchdown by the Hokies as Cato throws for his eighth touchdown of the season. 22nd consecutive game. He's Cato finds Smith in the corner. Again, he eludes pressure that Bud Foster. Cato has to scramble. Pump fake will clean room, and he dives to the end zone. Touchdown. Let's, this might be a good look at the knee if we can see if it's down. It's never down. And I believe when he hits the ground, when Cato hits the ground, that's when the ball falls out of his hand. So he breaks the plane without his knee touching. That's a touchdown. A second and 10. Crowd loud at Lane Stadium. Blitz coming. Lob. Touchdown. Gator Hoskins. Gator Hoskins is down here on the bottom of the screen, just a simple man-to-man -man coverage. He just muscles his way. Lead to this touchdown pass from Cato to Hoskins, and it's the herd in front in Blacksburg. Loss of about four yards on that, so it's second and 14. Cato looks to the end zone, finds his receiver. Touchdown, Marshall Thundering Herd. Seam all by himself. And the, the touch on the football is just nice. No need, no need to really put that extra week to prepare. They, they do look very sharp. 
There's Taliaferro working toward the end zone, puts his head down. Touchdown, Marshall. 17-0 lead over the Roadrunners. This has been a textbook start for Cato takes the snap, gives it to Butler, walks into the end zone. Deep ones, and they finish it off right here, untouched. That's an offensive line. Cato's going to throw. Here comes Heat over the middle, and it is caught. Gives up ground, throws this thing off his back foot. Very nice. Locate. As Marshall, you don't see it too often, but they got a couple of guys back there waiting to return this one. And this is taken by Devon Smith to the left side, and he's got speed, and there's nobody but the punter to beat. Cuts back, dances around Sean Kelly, and now players starting to catch up as he crosses the field again. A path to the pylon. Touchdown. Take another look here as he uh, he ran 77 yards at least from start to finish, but he, he had a whole lot of yards in between. Well, I could say that he barely got touched. First and goal from the one. And he's through for the touchdown. Touchdown. Kevin Grooms, four of ten on the season on fourth down. Cato needs five. Over the middle, complete first down and more. Staying on his feet and down for the touchdown. With his fifth touchdown of the season. You're going to see Gator right there in the middle of the screen. Again, much like the pass to Fernopel, getting the tight end over the middle of the field for an easy throw to the, for the quarterback. Tyrone Nix on second and 13. Play action. Cato stepping up, going to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Jazz Kid. Cato with a great ability to come back after a negative play, not worry about it, and just heave the ball downfield. I mean, Marshall takes shots constantly. Well, I, I mentioned the adjustment that he made. First of all, just watch the explosiveness, the speed. He's the outside receiver. He's going to run a post route just bang right by Jared Singletary at the corner. But then he stops and almost backs up. What an adjustment on a post thrown ball. They hand off into the end zone for the touchdown is Talaferro. It's kind of a zone read look. Cato rides him pretty good and actually gives him a little push in the back into the end zone. And for his fourth rushing touchdown of the year, we are all tied at 14 here in Murfreesboro. It changes. Cato passes to the end zone. Touchdown, Gator Hoskins. That time on Kevin Byard, the best defender Middle Tennessee has, and he's right on top of him. He's interfering with him and holding him the whole time, too. And Hoskins is just bigger, gets his body in the position and makes the catch, but a nice touch throw by Cato. What a terrific throw and great body. Second and goal, it's Grooms, Grooms. Touchdown. Down the field for Marshall. Giving the ball to their back, and Grooms takes it in. Excellent drive and staying on the ground. Very similar to what Middle Tennessee did late in the second half. And Akeem Cato to the end zone, wide open, touchdown. Return by DeAndre Reeves, and this is about as easy a touchdown as Schuler may have all year. Guy had 110. Grooms again, reaches, dangerous play. A lot of teams do this. They run with an extreme pace near the goal line. Ohio State does it a whole lot. From this play here, if you can stop them here, then you maybe think about trying to bow your neck. Talaferro, he gets in for the touchdown. He's been playing football with him since they were both eight years old. There's a pass right over the middle, a strike. Your H back right down the pipe, but they don't account for him. No one's covering him in the man-free defense. Perfectly done, easy read, great play. Thirty-five trips, twenty-six touchdowns. Cato on the run, and a fire over the middle. Got a man wide open, diving into the end zone. On Southern Miss, one more look back at Cato's second touchdown of the day. This one to Wilkins. First and five for Cato out of the gun. Losing those legs, still got it. Now he's going to fire across the green. What a throw into the end zone. That's of this game. 
When he drops back, his first read wasn't there. He stares him down. Now as he gets outside, he has great speed here. Watch the eyes downfield. This is a tough throw to throw against your body. Most, most coaches say, don't do that. Down to five for Cato. Cato looking to the air, sets, fires, easy pitch and catch. There's his main man. Well, right here, you got the quick slant to his main man. <laughs> and those guys have probably done that how many times over the course of their grade school, high school career, and now here at Marshall. And the timing just perfect. Tough play to stop down there, that slant, that close. Cato all day, fires open in the end zone. That is too easy But Marshall. He's just going to get behind and deep in the back of the end zone against his coverage. And the linebacker's got to carry that. He didn't, and that's one of the problems with the coverage. And he's looking at him all the way. This is the great thing about Cato. He understands coverages. He knew where to go with it. He never took his eyes off of him. Easy, great touch on the ball. Oh. He can't throw it any better than that. Right here's the handoff inside zone. Watch him high point that ball close to his body. That's the way it's done. For sure, the football. Here's Grooms left side. He's got great speed. He's going to use it right here. Kevin Grooms did it last year with a 60 plus yard touchdown run against Southern Miss. This one, 75 yards and in. Doc Holliday seeing some guys get some valuable PT. Live opportunity, Apple's pass is caught. It'll be another touchdown. And here's Blake dropping back, setting up, eyes him all the way, drills it in there, catches him in man coverage, and he just outruns it. From Marshall with an opportunity here on this drive to score 60 points. Last time they did that was 2002 against Buffalo when they scored 66. And look what they're gonna do here. Butler is going to take it in right on cue. Ball at the seven. And a touchdown run. Having the season, I'm sure he, he thought he could have all along. Uh, really has taken over that job. He has had on defense, in particular, in the secondary. Third down and long now for Cato. Again going deep. And it is caught. By Fronapple for a touchdown. 39 yard touchdown grab by Eric Fronapple. His first touchdown of the season. And for Cato, the 27th game in which he has thrown a touchdown pass, and he passes Chad Hen Pennington on the Marshall all time list. Looks near side, sees his other tight end down the seam. And your guy run under it. Just halfway through the first quarter, Marshall back on top by a touchdown as Fronapple makes the touchdown grab. Talked about uh, tight end athletic enough to get down the seam like Gator Hoskins. Well, the backup do the exact same thing. Fronapple, 225 of the high-powered Marshall Thundering Herd offense that averages over 40 points per game. And a big run by Kevin Grooves. Foot race, and he will not be caught. 71 yards. A plus yard touchdown run. Can't really see it from that ground level uh, angle there, but again, three down linemen. And, and, and honestly, it looked like one linebacker kind of backed off even from a normal alignment a little bit. And there's just a lot of green jerseys looking for somebody to block. Now, when you spread a team out like that, not only does the defensive back, Matt, have to, you know, chase the 20 or 30 or 40. Promoted when Reggie Johnson was demoted. He's the guy in charge of this defense, and they just gave up another touchdown. Tommy Schuler with the touchdown catch, a six-yard toss. The worst part about this, and believe me, at 27-7, there's a lot of worse, but the worst part about it, Matt, isn't that looking easy? I mean, honestly, it's all defensively. Rakeem Cato, two touchdown passes today for the second consecutive week. Marshall has scored on their first four possessions. They lead it 28-7. the ball at the nine yard line with 28 seconds to play in the half. Heavy rush, Cato scrambles to get away from it. 
fires back into the end zone. It's caught for a touchdown by Kevin Grooms. Leading by only seven at halftime, they now have a three touchdown lead again. And nice escape. Second player and then sees the receiver. Strong enough arm to get it there. A lot of gold helmets in the end zone, but again, Cato is a junior. That think back to his freshman year, man. I know you. You know we did a couple of his games then as well, but he's a kid that started some, and then he didn't start, and then he started some, and then we're going to go ahead and finish the year. He's our starter. They go to bowl game too, um, and then comes back last year, full time starter. Ridiculous stats. Um, has kind of settled into his role. He's kind of the thunder in the lightning and thunder combination in the backfield. Grooms being the lightning guy. Oh, they've got lightning, thunder, tsunami, hurricane. They've got everything. Talaferro, touchdown. Yeah, another one. That opening, you know, you hear the phrase, put your foot in the ground. Well, there it is. Nice and blocking downfield. That was a long drive for Marshall. That took 217. Seven, and this one went for 16 to match his number. Yeah, he started the scoring way back in the first quarter with a touchdown run, cut back there to the middle of the field, second touchdown run, and just a tremendous day. We're going to talk about his Saturday's game. That's And that's that's what you expect from a football coach. You know, you got to ask anyway. Cato will run it for the score. So Cato, three touchdown passes, and now a rushing touchdown. Now, didn't he just have a player of the week award? In Conference USA, he is the current player of the week. There's a chance he's going to have another one. Cato takes it in. Saw the open lane. You see it, too. That turned into seven more for the Thundering Herd. See the guard coming downfield. Who was that? Was that Niemeyer? Got 15 field before he could find somebody to hit. <laughs> Matt. Looking for someone to block. Matt. Give me somebody. Took out Gainus, and then Stuart Butler picked him up and put him down for 49 yards. It's 56 to 14. Third and 10. Cato. Goes to his favorite receiver, Schuler, who dives for the end zone. Touchdown! And they've hooked up this year for a touchdown. Mitchell Osborne almost was able to knock this down. The linebacker who's really in a mismatch with Schuler, and that ball got right by him at the last second. This is the difficulty when you get into an injury situation like Tulsa has had all year. They've got regular line matchup at the bottom of your screen is just going to get scorched. Cato. Going down the sideline as Devon Smith into the end zone for the touchdown. And that's what happens when you pay too much attention to the slot guy. Somebody on the outside can really hurt you. At that time, Michael Mudo just with a complete and total coverage breakdown at the Tulsa secondary, Joel. Well, and that's because you're trying to walk out with a linebacker. So all the secondary's eyes have to go where? To the slot receiver that's the most dangerous that came in with 65 catches. These are just slim, slim pickings for Tulsa's defense and their injuries and easy pickings for the thundering herd. Not even a great thrown ball by Rakeem Cato. He's going to look at that. New set of downs. Cato taking that shot to Hoskins. Touchdown. Last week, you start to honor the play action a little bit more. Look at all the linebackers, the secondary people for Tulsa just freeze long enough for Gator Hoskins. Cato, throw in the end zone, touchdown Hoskins. Just another mismatch. That's number 27, DeWitt Jennings. He's the linebacker. He's going to blitz, picked up beautifully by Talaferro, and then the recovery never. Cato with time to the end zone, a Schuler. Touchdown for Marshall. Dangerous to leave a quarterback like Rakeem Cato in striking distance. That time, Schuler comes free out of the corner. 
Had to wait for it, Joel. He got caught in no man's Second and goal from inside the one. Talaferro goes airborne, touchdown. Is gonna get their seventh win, keep their hopes alive for a Conference USA East Championship and ultimately to play in the Conference USA. A big tight end, 6'2", 244. Gator to pass, over the middle, Hoskins is coming into play today. And he lines up at the number three position, which is asking a linebacker or a strong safety to come down. Not pretty, but it's effective. I'm gonna say the same thing about his beard. Not pretty, but effective. So they toss this one out to Stewart. Butler, who's still on his feet, out into the open field. Butler in a foot race to the end zone touchdown. Telefero and Grooms, but check this out. Look at the blocks and then look him just get upfield. It's the speed at which he can get up the field, pick his feet up, put him back down. Rakeem Cato to key the end man on the line of scrimmage. Once he sees a hat for a hat, just like they've got there, it's an easy de decision to hand the ball off. And then from there, Stuart Butler just does the rest. Poor tackling by FI. And so 20 seconds to go. This is the ninth play of the drive. Cato with time to Schuler with a path to the end zone. Touchdown, thundering her. So they actually picks the defender that was covering Tommy Schuler, and that enabled him to come for Gator Hoskins, who, yes, he's from Gainesville, Florida. Gator, he's a nickname, but a pretty good one. They're looking for him again. Touchdown, Hoskins. Quickly for a big game. And they did say he wasn't down that first time, so it is a 23-yard pickup. Gator Hoskins, touchdown. Best tight end in the country. He's making a case to be on top of that list. It doesn't matter if you're playing man, you're playing zone. He's just going to outbeat everybody. It's the keeper again for Fronapple, the big guy, right down the middle, and look at him go. Touchdown, Marshall. Then finds the open hole. Watch this. Sebastian Johansson just gets rocked right back into his lap, but he does a good job of getting around the trash. and get, So it... It all boils down in every conference, in every situation. And these two guys next week. Hey, he can throw the ball, too. How about that grab? You're telling me that he's not a quarterback. Read option, play action again. Drawing up the single coverage on the outside. He sees that the leverage is on the inside, so I'll just go ahead and put it on the outside shoulder of the receiver, the only place that he can make a play. How about the true freshman, Justin Hunt? Take a look at this grab. Look at the placement and look at the concentration. Today's red zone brought to you by Verizon on the ground, powering towards the goal line. It's a touchdown. Marshall, Devon Johnson takes it in, and the herd. That's how much he means to East Carolina. They need him right now. Cato trying to find the end zone. Got time, hops around. Now he's going to take it, and he's going to fake it, try to reach for the pylon, and Rakeem Cato gets in for the touchdown. And We talked about just the moxie and the combative nature of him. It just says a lot about him overall as a football player. They're taking a look, we're being told, to check where those feet were. And if he did what you just said. Well, based on that look, I couldn't see where. Well, the herd knocking on the door once again. Cato going to fire to the end zone. Wide open touchdown, Marshall. And you'll see the fake, and then he's able to release late, and there's nobody there because they bit up on excellent run action. Started 20 of his last 24 coming in on the ground, barreling his way in for the two-yard touchdown for Marshall. Devin Johnson in again. Second TD of the day, his team up by three touchdowns. Senior out of Tallahassee. Second and ten, Carden dumps it off, it's intercepted! Taken in for the touchdown, Marshall's Gary Thompson! And with the pick six. Well, you can see him right here, and he's going to come off. They're going to try to run a screen, but what they're doing is they're continuing to play different forms of man coverage, and he sets up the screen, he reads out of it, but their receivers have not been able to get off the line of scrimmage, and that's what allows these defensive ends to read plays like this because this is their answer to the man coverage. It's a screen game, and they've seen it too many times today. There's either been the shovel pass, here it was the weak side. 
is Marshall. They need 11. Pressure coming. They bring the heat. Kano steps up, fires over the middle. It's caught. Devin Johnson's got it. Can he get in for his third touchdown? You bet. Touchdown herd. <laughs> But he's a running back linebacker in high school. They rave over his contributions, and he just uncovered right there. He was actually being covered by number 35, and what he did was he worked away from that coverage, and that was Michael Dobson who lost him by going back to Cato. He created it, and we talked about penmanship. What he can do is do it a number of different ways, and, and i tell you what, against Tulsa so many times, First and 10 from the 14 for the herd. On the ground, this young man's been running well. Stewart Butler takes it in for the touchdown. D1 to 20. When your offensive line comes to play and then you get those one-on-one -on -one matchups, your safeties have to be able to tackle. You saw him beat the tackle of Thompson. Marshall leading 52-20 and they'll be the 2013 East Division Conference USA champs. They've got a shot to Host that game next week right here in Huntington. Still to be determined what happens in the West. Here's Kato on the ground, takes it in. Rakeem Kato dances his way into the end zone. This first and goal. That's the power back, Johnson. And that's why he's the power back. And his ability to see down the field sets up this power run by Johnson. Second goal. Cato. Oh, he oh, just sidearms that and it goes for a touchdown. Being like a magician here in the midst of traffic, just sidearms it out for the score. Cato with a lot of time. And then the touch to the corner and a touchdown. Exactly. It was lopsided, but they gave a good run here. So they pulled it this. They're going to go for, uh, they'll kick it. So they're going to kick it. It'll be a seven. You want to try to run between the tackles again. Cato looks, throws, completes to Tommy Schuller. Touchdown with the lead. And Rakeem Cato is 37th touchdown pass of the year. The school record's 39. Empty to run here. Cato, touchdown. Hoskins can't ask much more. Laid it into Hoskins. For Marshall, without that vertical stretch now, just too many bodies. Tyler Farrell, touchdown Marshall. Drive. Maryland had the body there, just a missed time to overcome two scores. No. Cato, floats it for the end zone, touchdown to Hoskins. This was a brilliant call. And Hoskins just a guy who, you, you have a safety in coverage. Uh, once again, you had Anthony Nixon there in coverage, a guy who's been battling a bit of a toe injury. But we've seen time and time again, the safeties cannot cover him one-on-one. -on -one, and you say, well, why don't you have double coverage? You can't double coverage, cover everybody.